good. Let's set up the way it's supposed to. Scan my amiibo, so I don't have to do that now. Hello, folks who are probably watching this post. How do you do? Um, what was I doing? Oh, right, right. Okay, so I guess for now, what I'll do is I'll just clean up some loose ends. Oh, wait, actually, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, let's see. I do need to get in here now because there's a few weapons I need to claim. There's three. The problem is I'm not sure which battle is going to get me in there. I guess for now I'll just do the maps I haven't done yet, like this one. Uh, guess we'll use something we haven't used in a while. Throw in there. Actually, let's give you the best weapon I've got right now. I'm gonna need to actually just start collecting all the weapons now. Well, specifically the plus grades. Those are the ones I need to actually start unlocking the Master Sword and getting it caught up in power. What's going on here? Oops, wrong one. Some rogue forces. Oh, recruiters, okay. I know where this is going. Every time it seems like you get this map, this is one of the big starting positions where you just rack up the KOs. They're always clustered so tight in there. It's just kind of ridiculous. Come closer. A minute yet, we already have 300 KOs, so yeah, that's dense. And I just got 300 more in a second, so wow. Something tells me this A rank isn't gonna be very hard to grab. <laughs> of course, there's a boss key. At least I don't have to worry about that now. The enemies are still coming. I barely touched that Dark Nun, it's already dead. It's kind of crazy. Jeez. I love how they just charge right into the wall. Stay here for another five minutes. This is where all the enemies are heading for some reason. Actually, wait, I think they are passing by now. Okay. We've spent long enough over there. Oh, it's 
nice to know you guys are doing something useful. Let's find out where the treasure heaps are. North and south. Okay. Oh boy. Just so much left to do, and it's kind of crazy how I haven't cleared most of it yet. Oh. Nice recruiters. I just don't like how, even if there's no forces on the map, they always default to just attack on you. They don't really attack on you. These guys want your base for some reason. They want to go you. They recruit from the enemies over your own allies. It's kind of stupid. They somehow convince everyone to betray. Finally cleared the worst of it. I really don't care about the siege captain at the moment. Normally I go and stop them, but it's more important things to do. More advanced recruiters, jeez. It's fine, but you don't really know what they're going to do. Actually, now that I think about it. It's gonna make it a focus that I actually try and finish the stage, or finish these stages and then go the middle, and then move forward. Because I think it'd be a better idea to just get all the plus grade weapons first before I get everything else. 
been trying to get legendary for the longest time, and it looks like the requirements changed. The legends you only needed the uh, level two and three, but apparently you need exorcism now from the master sword. But to get that, with all the plus three weapons, and then you have to get the fifteen thousand KOs. So. Yeah, the requirements changed. I don't like it. Characters actually went out of my way to get good weapons for, and Toon Zelda just happens to be one of them. I thought she'd be one of the best candidates for the regular attacks plus because she can basically infinite loot people with it, so there's really no reason not to use it. Also, looks like both of these sheeps were not worth capturing. That's kind of sad. Oh my gosh. Oh, not close enough. I thought she'd approach, but she didn't. Where, where are you going? Really? Focus on the lackeys first. If they try to run away. Wow. <sighs> if only there are owl statues on the map most of the time. You have to run for it. It has to be the imprison, of course. I should have known they spawned the boss close to your base, somewhere close to it. Actually, faster than the boomerang now? Oh, 
Wow, this fan special is not fan to the race. I can't even see the weak point gauge. I'm just gonna assume that I'm breaking it. Yep, I see the yellow ring. Okay. What's nice about this is that they do actually add some extra damage on their attacking boots. Pretty sure I did. Oh! <laughs> Super Luigi, how you doing? <laughs> I, I, I guess it's kind of a bit of a bad habit. I prevent you from sleeping because it's just too good. Nah, I, I, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I really should think about streaming in other parts of the day, though. It's always, like, really some horrible Oh gosh darn it. I should have thought about getting the anti-boss formula because this thing's got a ton of health. Stupid amounts. Um, I just realized how difficult the Grand Travel maps tend to be. I'm giving Laurel a little bit of a break right now. Ah, didn't actually move the walls, whoops. I'm trying to chase him down so I can blow them up when he hits his toes. I missed. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of damage. Um, I'm gonna approach this. I guess I'll just use a special attack. That's what I have. You don't mind the one you can't yourself? I well, appreciate that. One more people to five. I kind of just screwed as I want to. I don't have any obligation to do something like that. Why not? It's kind of fun. Still barely dies. I'm using like every trick I can think of to just do enough damage to it. Please die. Oh my gosh, it's got a sliver left. I should have brought a dark fairy. Actually, no, drag it towards the stairs. It is possible to hit the imprisoned with a a focus spirit special, but it's only if you manage to attack it from a high enough position, like if you're on stairs or something. Please tell me this thing will finally die. Oh my goodness. had so much health. I've been fighting it for what? Almost three, four minutes? That usually doesn't happen. But yeah, um, I've got a couple of goals that I want to do tonight. And one of them does involve... Oh. I went through the entirety of high school in three to four hours of sleep per day. Like, should be fine for you? Are you kidding? How do you get that kind of constitution? 
If I try pulling that off, I just, like, my body just says, no, you need sleep right now. Fall asleep right on the floor if, if necessary. If I don't get enough sleep, I just can't function. That's kind of how it goes for me. I guess you have to be used to it, otherwise it's just not gonna work. Wow. <sighs> Getting by on three to four hours of sleep a day, that'd give you some extra time to do things. At the expense of your sanity, maybe. I like my sanity. <laughs> oh, Mike's a little distant. Oh, it looked fine in the graphs. Uh, let's try this again. Just it right now. There, much better. There we go. That's that. That's much better. I had it. I, <laughs> I had it facing away instead of towards. Oh, the curse cast on the map has been lifted. Hey, I, I did figure out what I need to do. Perfect. Sweet. Oh man, there's a divisive plan here for light characters. Oh my god, I wish I'd known that. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I, I have to test this out. Unknown, unknown. Hey there. <laughs> you want me to keep making videos? I, I will. I just. Haven't really had the super drive to do them as I used to, but I still try to get them out every now and then. I just kind of wish I had a lot of the older tools I used to, but I don't anymore. <sighs> and money's kind of a big problem. Like, in order to upgrade all my stuff so I can actually stream in, like, you know, 60 frames per second and whatnot, I'd have to spend a hefty sum. What was I trying to do? Oh yeah, rank three. But, I mean, I'm definitely going to branch out eventually, once free time becomes much more of a thing. Actually, you know what? I might just... I, I might just see if this really is a good map for light characters, because that's the... That's kind of what I've been looking for, is another map to grind with. So... let's try Toon Link. I need something with slots on it. Oh, and you're by yourself, so that does make things a little bit more complicated. Oh, I've been wanting to try out Extreme Crush since I finally unlocked it. That fairy um, is something that I've been putting in the back burner for a while, but now I just decided to dump a whole bunch of food into it, and yeah, it's turning out great so far. Just nine refreshes in, and we've already got our first rainbow skill. Oh yeah, this, this, this works really well. All it takes is one strong attack, and you pretty much divide them already. This is amazing. I guess I'll get rid of the healer, just in case. I'm going to see just how good this map is. Okay. So, let's see... First, I'll use the normal version. Oh, whoa! Wait a second! Did that actually do damage? Hold on a second. I thought that was supposed to expose their weak point gauges. Oh god. Let's try this again. Oh, it does. And it does a ton of damage. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding? Dude, that's broken as F! And that was the normal version. <laughs> Holy crap! 
well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling that gratitude crystals were, I was using them wrong. And I definitely know that now. I was definitely using them wrong. The only time you really should use Gratitude Crystals is when you need that extra push to get a skill. And, oh, speaking of which, there is a skill I want to get, but gosh dang it. I've been missing out on something amazing. I didn't know Extreme Crush does a ton of damage in addition to doing the weak points. Holy crap. I can't wait to try that out on bosses. It's just gonna be like constantly bringing them down. And in challenge mode, that's gonna be a godsend. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to remember this map, that's for sure. I didn't get any good weapons though. That that kind of sucked. Oh well. Hmm. I think this isn't the final battle, is it? No. Final battle is probably there. And of course the baton has to be there. Gosh darn it. Your fairy's different than mine. Yeah. The benefits of my fairy are now starting to show themselves, and it's pretty darn good. Like, actually, here's the current conundrum that I have. So this fairy that I just used with the extreme crush, it is very close to learning a skill I wanted to learn. Um, like it's got the traits necessary to learn, what was it? Glass Cannon, yeah, that was it, this one. I need to max out Dizzy to get that, but I have to max it out after refreshing it, which means I have to start from pretty much zero. And the last time I tried it, I was like one point away from getting that skill. So, I want to try and get it, but I have to be careful about it. So I'm going to actually try and get it right now. Uh, the way it works is, yeah, see, when I refresh this fairy, its base stats are so high that it's already close to maxing out. That's... <laughs> that's kind of how it works now. But, unfortunately, I have to change a trait, and it's... this one. I needed... Uh, what was it? I can't remember what it was. Crap, hold on, I have to go look at it again. Uh, real quick, I have to look at it again. Yeah, I have to replace Valiant with Dizzy. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's the biggest problem I have with this, is remembering what traits do what. Oops. No. Okay, so I have to replace Valiant with Dizzy. And then we go through with it. Okay, so there's a specific food that I was using to actually raise that one stat, but I can't remember what it was. It was like... I think it was this. Yeah. The water fruit. Because nothing else raises it higher for at least, you know, tasty foods instead of the delicious ones. Yeah, I'm just looking for something else. I can't find anything else. This will raise it by six, but I'm gonna use up the levels faster, so I have to use that afterwards, so okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw all of this at it. There we go. I really don't care about the barrier magic right now because that's going to eventually be fixed with a refresh. Oh geez, we're learning a whole bunch of stuff. Now I need to use this. So as you see, I get really close to maxing it out, but I'm not quite there. Um, let's see, if I do this wrong, I'm going to regret it. I need to use a gratitude. So I need 21 to get it. And if I go into the salon, the salon, what? I need to use... Oh, wait. Isn't that going to do it? I think that does it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't know why I was worrying so much. I got it. Okay. So now I just need to make sure I quit those. Marathon Runner's useless. Don't use it. Just 
Dream Crush. Dream Crush Plus. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to use for the third skill. Probably something. Makes hearts restore your magic as well. Sure, why not? There. There we go. So now I've got a fairy that's absolutely destructive. I love it. In fact, I'm, I'm actually going to bring that fairy, because why not? <laughs> if Extreme Crush does that much damage, then yeah, bring it. And the fact that you can use it more than once, so how many times can you use a plus version? That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I, I managed to get all those without using a single Gratitude Crystal, so... I've been doing this the wrong way the whole time. I kind of can't believe I didn't figure that out earlier. This weapon is as good as mine. I just need to make sure I get everything else. I hate the range of that, it's so low. I actually haven't used a fire on in a long time, so this is gonna be a little refreshing. You could put Hard Worker back off those high level maps with Glass Cannon. Yeah, I guess I could. Because that's the problem with Glass Cannon, is if you screw up, you could die instantly in exchange for trying to do more damage. I also need to look into getting, like, Elemental Magician and all that. Really? What? What the heck was that? I don't know what the heck happened to this level, but for some reason, it's glitchy. It's just like, enemies can push you, or allies can push you. Look at this, I can't move. What? It doesn't happen here. Mm -hmm. I mean, hard worker is definitely useful earlier on. But I think the bigger problem is just, yeah, if you're gonna use glass cannon, you gotta consider it. You never know when you're gonna get sniped in the back or some enemy's gonna just completely come out of nowhere and hit you. Or you decide to fight enemies who have red auras. Oh my gosh. And especially considering how difficult these maps are, yeah, it might be a good idea to think about being careful. That didn't break it? Nope, oh, nope, that's too much damage. I would have eaten, like, five of those. I'm not gonna make it, nope. Why'd I do that? Now I can't do the weak point smash. There are so many enemies in front of the base. Good thing they're not inside of it. I guess we should put our extreme crush to use here. Jeez. I'm just amazed that it does damage in addition to doing the explosion. I don't know if I can spam it, but I'm pretty sure I can use it, like, nine times or more. Well, considering I have both the normal and the plus version. Uh, I wish I'd found that earlier. Okay. <laughs> I think the base crisis is averted. Wall of water. Interfering with other fairy skills? Mm. 
I think the way it works is the ones that are timed can't interfere with the ones that have like immediate effects, such as like restoring your health. At least I don't think they do. Whoa, nice camera. I haven't really tried that though. Like, let's see. The only ones I have that fill that description are glass cannon, and now's not a good time to use that. Or actually, full magic might be able to do that too. So I like, try using glass cannon and film magic together and see if they cancel each other out, that kind of thing. I don't think they do, they shouldn't. I know that one passive, well, the only passive is hard worker, so nothing can cancel that out. Pretty sure nothing can cancel it out. Lakeside Keep. Central Hall, okay. I mean, I could be wrong. <laughs> I mean, I guess the Wall of Water thing found out that it, it, it's basically the same as Sheik's Water Barrier, so... I guess there's other exceptions. See what you got. I kind of like this tunic color. It, it seems a little odd, but it kind of works. The cape is teal instead of, or the scarf. It's teal instead of like that blue color. Wrong way. I'm gonna have to probably save my crushes for the boss. Boss has got lots planned, I'm sure. More moon points. Oh yeah, can't you do the thing with the... Yeah. <laughs> can get the lights to deactivate on the axe portion by delaying your attack. It's kind of funny. I can't remember if there was food on this map, but I don't know. I've got more than enough KOs to work with, so... Oh, wow, and they have summoners, too. <laughs> Come on, do something. Whoa! That tricky attack is not to be trifled with. See that? He still wants to get a hit off on me before his attack even came out. Come on. Don't want to get hit by that and focus spirit. That's going to cause a ton of damage. Finish him off. What? How did that miss? Are you kidding? Okay. I don't know how that missed, but it did. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to explain that one, but yeah. You preferred the other costumes because the red's a little too... matte? Mate? Uh, I, I guess it is down to colors when at the end of the day. I mean, the scarf would look so much better if it was animated correctly instead of what it's doing right now, but... I, I guess in some environments it actually kind of looks cool. Or cooler, I should probably say. 
All right, we're just gonna walk straight up to Golda. Say, screw your laser. Do this. And <laughs> just completely wreck it. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. Yeah, I haven't really been, like, trying out the costumes that I've been rocking. I've just kind of been sticking with the defaults a lot of time. God, this feels so broken. I don't know why I didn't try to go for this skill earlier. Not as much as you want. Can't survive being completely destroyed by extreme crush, apparently. Finally. Chipping off enough health to hopefully finish it. Nope. And back down you go. <laughs> this is slow. What the heck? What's this? Why does it keep jittering around? Okay. Okay, we're on. All right then. Sure. <laughs> I don't know why it was moving around like that, but okay. <laughs> and this is without glass cannon, yeah. I could have used glass cannon and probably taken it out in half the time, or maybe a third of the time. That's true. I completely forgot to try that out. Damn. Do you know how much of a time shaver this is going to be in challenge mode, which is pretty much boss central. Oh my goodness. No, seriously, how many times do you get to use that skill? I thought it was a one and done thing, but no, it's letting you use it quite a lot. The cackling rod. Oh, oh actually, let me keep that for now. I'm still astonished by how useful that skill is. Just the normal version alone is really good. So having plus probably like triples your uses or something. Whatever that number ends up being. So the next time I encounter a boss, I throw a glass cannon at it and ooh, it's going to be pain. There you go. Defeat the copycat soldiers level 14. Hmm. There's potential here. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> How you doing this fine midnight hour? Wait, who is the one? Oh, there's no character restriction. Whoops. Yeah, I've been uh, kind of pile driving away at uh, the different maps. Actually, you need... Oh my goodness, you need a weapon that makes sense now that I think about it. Do you have slots? Please tell me you have slots. Yes, you do. Good. Okay. So I think what I'll do is I'll go for rank. What's important is to get them to drop in the first place. This map sounds like it's going to be really good for trying to get a weapon, because it's level 14. So I'm going to try and take advantage of that. And then I'll bring a backup of... Winkle with Extreme Crush, I guess. A lightning weapon to go with a lightning fairy. I like it. May as well bring out all the stops. <laughs> I'm gonna have to eventually do the same thing with a water fairy. Sounds fun. It's this kind of map, okay. So we'll tell Winkle to go up here. I thought it'd be a good grinding map, but I was wrong. Well, 
you know what? I could let them just copycat. Hmm. I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. Do I really want to do that? Because it takes so long for them to actually copy the character they're trying to copy. Hmm. But if I don't let him do it, the drops I get are not going to be very good. Well, I'll at least damage them first. Because if the copycat soldiers try to copy someone and they're hurt, they take on all that damage. You don't stand a chance, Tetra. <laughs> I think that's enough. And Sia is also going to get in on the copycat action soon. But let's see, is her AI the type that actually fights back, or is she just going to sit there like a doll? Yep. Yep. It's kind of it's kind of 50-50 with Sia. Sometimes she fights, sometimes she just stares at you. <laughs> I'm gonna say that this is a massive waste of time if it turns out no good weapons drop at all, but I'm going to take a bet and try to just let them do their thing. But like I said, it takes a long time. I think it's almost five minutes. Which is really stupid when you think about it. I mean, it said level 14, so yeah. I'll try and get some KOs off them if I can. Actually, I should save the KOs because when I go into Focus Spirit, I can take the bonuses with me and get even better weapons. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> May as well be with how late I'm straining. How do you pronounce it? Is it Rene Rome? Oh wait, no, it's not a line on the O, it's the two dots. Rome? I'm gonna have to just pull up a pronunciation key one day. <laughs> I really should think about just streaming like midday or something. But then I have like a whole bunch of chores to do. Not to mention, I have to make sure I actually don't waste my opportunities to do things. And then there's work, so yeah. I think this is really the only time I get to stream, otherwise it's like, oh, well, too bad. Alright, well. You got one set of clones, let's at least try. I have to get to 125 kilos first. Or 30, if there is 130. Come on. Show me the KOs. There we go. I'll stop using your special for a second so I can finish you off. Hopefully this weapon's good. And that weapon, hopefully, is good too. Now, who else has made copycats? Lana, good. They all, they've all made copies, good. We can take them out now. Oh, right, I need to get rid of the shadows first before the original, otherwise they'll retreat. There we go. Did it. I don't think I'm going to make it in time to actually take these bonuses with me, but I, at least I got some weapons to drop. Already. Wait a second! What happened to my... I only use Magic Fountain once. How come it's gone? What? Something doesn't quite make sense with that. Hmm. I don't think anyone here's got magic, so... 
Oh well. I have to use she because she has the weapon with slots on it. Oh yeah, how about I use the water barrier so I can stop staggering? That's a good idea. Uh, the advanced copies might be a bit of a pain. Also, Tetra's about to kick the bucket, which is going to end the stage. I don't want that to happen yet. Don't touch that. Good. I don't think I can defeat the Dark Tetra before Tetra herself gets knocked out. I mean, I'm gonna try. There are so many enemies here that just need to die. <laughs> I don't think I can get them. Almost got you. Here you go. I think this is the end of the stage. <laughs> yep. And of course she drops magic when she's defeated. Gosh darn it. Well, let's see if those were good results or not. I trembled with anticipation. Ah, oh, really? <sighs> Missing a slot. Four stars. Two stars. Okay, so we got one good weapon out of this. The other ones are okay, it's just they don't have the slots or stars that I'm looking for. Mm, don't think it's a very good map to farm with, because you saw how long it took for them to actually, you know, transform and stuff. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with this. That I'm gonna keep, because I've been looking for that. And it's all he's got right now until I find his 4+, plus, which is gonna be quite a bit later. It is a nice hammer. It's 50 points better than the hammer I currently have Ravio using. So, yeah, I'll take it. Traveling hero quiz. That'll be quick, so maybe I'll do this first. And also, Toon Zelda's pretty much got her de facto weapon, so I may as well use it. Jeez, it's going to be... I'm not sure how to approach this fairy. Should I just try and trade out all of its traits and then raise them all until they're ridiculously high and then start going for the skills? Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about this. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about how to use Toon Zelda, and her weapon is constructed based on it. Based on what I found, anyway. Like, the whole idea is that she's going to have hasty attacks and regular attacks plus, because that's her big draw, is that her regular attacks, they're actually very good. This attack in particular is really good, the fourth regular attack, because as you can see, it stuns enemies and actually causes them to fall on the ground. So, take that in combination with, like, the fact that it's fast and it hits a wide area, suddenly you'll notice her regular attacks doing a hell of a lot of work. Ah, what the... <laughs> I love how it just makes them fall over. Or, if it doesn't, it slows them down. So, yeah.
I think Team Zelda can actually duel people very well. Oh yeah, I forgot her strong attack. She rolls into a ball. It's actually pretty useful. Okay. I don't know if they're gonna throw a boss into one of these, but I guess we'll find out. They've done that before. They have a quiz where they just throw a boss at you and it's like you have no room to do anything. Wait, the one that got turned to stone? Is that Tetra? I don't remember... Oh, wait, wait, wait. They mean in the context of, uh, um, Spirit Tracks, right? At least I think they mean that. Then... I'm not too sure. I don't remember Wizro getting turned to stone. I don't remember that happening to Tetra. Dang it. Oh, come on. So incredible. Wrecker Phantoms. So we see two... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Wrecker Phantoms. That's, what, that's why it's called the Wrecker Sword. I forgot that this is the thing she kind of possesses. You'll have to forgive me on that one, because I really haven't had a chance to play Spirit Tracks. I've only really seen bits of it. I'm still not sure about the answer to this question, though, because I'm thinking it's Tetra, but... It, well, it's gotta be Tetra. Wizard didn't get turned to stone. He just got sealed in a ring. Oh my goodness, they really hurt, though. Looks like I was right. How did Tetra get turned to stone? Very beginning of the game and forgotten almost immediately. Oh! Oh, she is in Phantom Hourglass. Wow. I'm amazed I forgot that, because that's like the one of the two DS games I actually finished. <laughs> But then again, we're talking about almost 10 so ten or so years ago. I haven't played it since Phantom, Phantom Hourglass. Huh. The princess, well, clearly a princess cannot be found in a dark nut, that's for sure. What? Come on, I wasn't even targeting you! Dang it. She keeps blocking the hit that matters. Huh. At the very beginning. I wonder if it really matters what weapon the enemy is equipped with, because I'm clearly using one better than hers. She's using the... I think it's the level 2 version. This style master is getting on my nerves. Take a break. Ow. There we go. Mburu is on the inside of every knot. <laughs> I, I think it's just the one. <laughs> I, I feel like that, that, that's, a, that's an interesting point you bring up, because I feel like Nabru was kind of wasted in Ocarina of Time, really. Like, her only purpose was to kind of be like an ally of justice for young Link, but then she gets captured. She probably is caught, she's probably put to sleep or whatever inside the spirit temple for those seven years. And then the first thing she does is try to kill you inside an iron knuckle. 
and then that's it. She's pretty much gone for the rest of the game once she gives you the medallion. Which is kind of unfortunate because, I mean, it's very rare you have a Guerrero that actually is on your side. Or Gerudo. I, I, I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> I'm saying everything wrong. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I actually have to go up. <sighs> okay. Well, time to get... Which weapon is it? Is it the trident? Hey, it is the trident. Good. Barrier Specialist Forces. Naburu... Kind of is just like a gateway for the Silver Gauntlets, and that's about it. Hmm. Um, who should I bring? Guess I'll use Toon Link with the Sand Rod. Haven't found... Hasty attacks for this yet. Kinda needs it. Mm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, I won't be able to use that for a while, but I may as well unseal stuff from it. They were always either thieves, pirates, and the only way to be on good terms with them was to join them. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. Or, in the case of Breath of the Wild, try to imitate them. <laughs> like, and even then, they still, they'll still imprison you if you're not wearing that outfit, so that's... yeah. Seems like they're, they're just never really gonna be, like, permanent allies. It seems. Oh my goodness. I was actually slapping the shoot out of these guys. Come on, make your move. You break guards with that? Really? Yeah, they don't let any men into the town. It's one of the few places I actually did go in Breath of the Wild. Just too busy trying to just run around aimlessly for no reason. Like, when I first got the game, I just avoided any sorts of spoilers whatsoever. I just said, I'm gonna figure this out on my own. And for the longest time, I didn't realize that, you know, you're actually supposed to do the quest to, for the Guardians. And that the final boss will be extended if you don't. So, every time I tried to fight the final boss, I had to start from the first phase of those dark, like, Ganons or whatever the heck they're called. Because I never fought them otherwise. So I had to learn their patterns from scratch with, like... How much health did I have? I think it was like seven hearts or something. Some low amount. <laughs> so yeah, you can imagine uh, how much time I spent trying to beat all four of those in a row. And this is before I knew about like, you know, cooking actual good food. What? what? what what's going on? What the heck was that? Okay, so, am I just going to discover a new glitch every time I play this game, or what? What, what the heck was that? Why'd the camera go wild? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. What? <laughs> K. 
counterclockwise from the Farron region. Yeah. Like, the world is pretty huge, so... I guess that's a good place to start. Because, um... Let's see. Was Kakeriko Village in the Farron region, or was it slightly close to it? I can't recall. But, I mean, the sooner you find that place, the better, really. What? I wish I could figure out what you keep getting ca I know! Seems like I'm having huge camera issues with this game, and they're all random. Like, I think I was trying to do a weak point smash, but then all of a sudden I just started running around. And the camera was just going wacko. Can't quite figure out what the heck happened there. Oh, medley. Okay, let's stop the barrier specialist from making this last even longer than it needs to. What? still hit. I'm amazed. Are we running on mo low morale here? Is that why things are going so badly? Kakariko is in Hatane Village. Oh! Oh yeah, it was! Pretty sure that's one of the first few places you actually go to. I remember that briefly because I know that's where we found that guy that expands your item slots and stuff. Okay, I forget his name. I haven't played the game in like months and months and months, so yeah, I, there's a lot of stuff I don't remember. <laughs> there's an Agatha just randomly hanging around here. I do remember getting far enough to the point where you can like... You can get a camera, or upgrade your camera, and you just take a photo of something and then you can use it on your radar. I remember that being a thing. But man, some of those, some of those temples. Also, this one, Zora's domain. Yeah, I never even got to Zora's domain. The furthest I got was like, I don't know if it's still called Dragon Roost, but yeah, I reached the place where the Rito live. But aside from that, I didn't really go to many of the other towns. Like I was literally out in the wild for pretty much. I would say 70% of the game I played. Fighting enemies I had no business fighting <laughs> so early. And, and I guess that's kind of the fun thing, is that you can just really do what you want. If you just want to fight a whole bunch of strong enemies for no reason, sure, you can go ahead and do that. You want to find a bunch of trials? Be your guest. I don't think I'd ever find... find... oh. Well, good to know. I don't think I'd ever find it <laughs> possible to get all 20 heart containers, though. Or, no, wait, it's not 20. Isn't it like, what, 15 times 2, so 30 now? I'm pretty sure it's 30. But most people just sacrifice the last three hearts so they can get full stamina instead, because stamina is so important. Which I don't blame them for. If you don't have a lot of stamina, there's a lot of places you're not going to be going. Yeah. I guess just exploring around is kind of fun, even though there may not be as many things to do as most other open world games. But thankfully, I don't let that stop me too much. I mean, I'm pretty sure I put in approximately 100 hours into the game, but even then, I still managed to get to the final boss, and haven't even done half the things in the game. <laughs> so I don't think, I, I can't really complain, like, it's, it's fun to kind of just wander around. It helps that everything looks kind of beautiful. Oh, gosh darn it, there was another barrier specialist in there. Well, whatever. 
I think one thing I never got around to doing was dealing with those ninjas. Cause I think I ran into a few of them here and there, but I never found their hideout. And there's certain pieces of equipment you can get. I don't even know if I had a full set of armor where you can stack bonuses, honestly. I found all sorts of ores, but I never had anything to do with them. Like, yeah, I got like three diamonds. Now what do I do with them? Uh-oh, that's actually kind of bad. Let's get you over there. Running three hearts for an unreasonably long time until you got two, three full stamina wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At first, your first thought is, I need more hearts because everything's kicking my butt. But then you realize that without stamina, you're kind of limited in where you can go. You can't swim very long. You can't climb very long. Oh, Climbing. And, man, I can't tell you how many times I've lost I've lost it because I'm trying to climb, like, this mountain, and then it starts to rain! So now you've got, like, five seconds to be like, wait, 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 can I save myself? No, you slip. It just takes your stamina way down. And I'll be, like, on low stamina, and then it starts to rain, so... Uh, oh. You try to pull out your glider, but you realize it doesn't work too well with no stamina, so dead, game over. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and I play with the HUD off or put to minimal, so the only thing I see is like your hearts. I don't look at the weather forecast, so I guess that kind of is my fault. Oh yeah, I need to get Ganon over there. Ganondorf. You have the full climbing set? I don't, and I, and I feel so bad for not having it, because it really does, it really is worth it. Because it reduces how much stamina it costs to climb, so you can just like, you know, hop up short cliff sides and all that. I've seen it, so I know it exists, or I know it's an ability of the armor. But I'm gonna have to go get the rest of that stuff. Like, I think rupees was another problem for me in that game. I just was never really getting a decent number of them. Yeah, definitely rupees. It's one of the first Zelda games to ever let you hold more than uh, 10,000 rupees, now that I think about it. I mean, I guess this one might count, but not really. It's a spin-off more than anything. Oof, boy, was that necessary. Dang it, Medley, give it a rest. Jeez. Claim so fast that rain is manageable. <laughs> Can you stack your climbing bonuses with those potions that increase your speed? Because that's one thing I've been wondering about. Still monster carts when you're hard up for cash. Oh yeah! You can just sell those things. I've always been saving them for potions, but I didn't realize, yeah, you could actually sell them. Well, no wonder why I never have any money. <laughs> really goes to show how short-sighted you can get when you get too full of yourself. <laughs> I never have any money! I didn't bother to sell all this junk that I've been holding around. Uh, yeah, I should probably save gear in now. Well, no wonder why you're struggling. Holy crap. Or is that you've ordered more than 50 of? Did one of those include diamonds? <laughs> I doubt it. That stuff was really hard to come by.
Not to mention that um, there are some other orbs that you need a lot of. And I don't mean just for like dying cores, but like in general. Wow, only 91 KOs, really? But I, I don't know. Maybe the potions I'm making aren't strong enough. Because I know you can have like up to three different icons to show its effectiveness. And the ones I make only have one. The blue up arrow. Yeah. Some trade luminous stones for diamonds. Oh, really? Man, I got more luminous stones than I know what to do with. I don't remember how much a diamond ore sells for, but it must be a lot. But then again, isn't diamonds used to dye your armor white or something? I can't remember. Pretty sure it is. Oh, for crying out loud, Vogel, why do you have so much health? You're not the imprisoned. I should have brought somebody with water. Not even darkness is making this any more bearable. And then he runs away. Of course he does. I was going to catch him in that, but it's too late now. Huh. If that quest existed, I'm gonna have to look for that the next time I play. Which might be a while from now. <laughs> so many other games want to play. Oh gosh, give it up, Volga. Holy crap. I think from now on, I need to consider who the commander will be so I can bring somebody and oppose them with their elements. Dang. It's also used to repair... Wait! You can use... You can repair weapons? I thought that was only possible through a glitch. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's good to know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Legendary weapons. They're not like, you know, weapons you actually have in your inventory for long. Okay. It must be a quest thing, right? Or at least, like, I'm guessing it's a quest thing. I don't know. I honestly don't. And if that's the case, then I'm pretty sure you only need a few of those stones to repair them. It's not an ongoing thing. Hmm. Two for one sale. We'll start in three battles. Okay, time to get... Is this the final battle? Maybe? No, that's the final battle. If Mifa's spear breaks, you can bring it to an NPC who can make a new one with a Zora spear and a diamond. Oh, cool. I hope that spear is actually pretty powerful. <laughs> well, it must be. The spear's special. <laughs> I, I, well, I've, ne I've never even gotten that far or into Zora's Domain. Is it Zora's Domain? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure I don't have any of the legendary weapons. Ooh, this is actually going to be pretty tough for Zelda here. She doesn't have a strong baton. Whatever, he'll make do. Throw you at it, and... throw a tetra at it. <laughs> I 
Looks like a recruitment map. I think I should just let them recruit. ever tried to fight. Wait, where are these guys going? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Goodness. So many enemies just piled up in the middle for some reason. It's crazy. Goron Sword and Azora Spear so far. Well, I guess they just provide you other advantages aside from being legendary weapons. Because you'd have to go through a quest line to get them. So they must be pretty good. Look like. You know what? I never thought about that. That's true. I mean, they included Mulgara's theme probably because its stage or its dungeon ended up being in the game, but if Mulgara itself is in the game, then yeah, how would you do a weakness smash on it? I mean, if you think about it. The only boss that really had a weak point smash by default would be Imprisoned. Because Skyward Sword is where that mechanic kind of comes from, isn't it? So every other boss had to have one designed for it. I mean, with Goma, it's just all sorts of eye torture. With King Dodongo, it's usually just stabbing its head to some degree. Then Handle is pretty much smashing the core. Smash or stab. The imprisoned is trying to slide that pillar into its head, I guess. And with fan like with the new bosses like Helmrock King, it's just basically slapping the bird while it's down. Which I guess is kind of done in a, a manner very similar to how you actually fight it. I mean, without the stone hammer, you really weren't going to do anything to it. So, Mogera, the thing with fighting Mogera is that it's a giant snake. It's kind of like Twin Mold. If it were just one beast and not blue or red, but kind of like a brown color. It, it kind of does resemble Twin Mold. Nope. So... Wait. No. It's over here. So there is no... Well, the main... The only real way to damage it is kind of similar to... Goma, is that you had to pull, uh, pull its, like, tongue or its core over to you. So yeah, how would you weak point smash it when its body is a hard shell? Hmm. I'm guessing it would probably involve something with, like, having it bow its head down so that you can try and, like, slap its tongue, maybe? I don't know. That is a hard one to think about. It's all, like, 
I think the same problem would happen if Volga was actually a boss in this game. It's like, how would you even attack it? It'd be flying around half the time. It doesn't have lava pools that it can just dig into. And with the Helmrock King, it's kind of a combination of flying and stomping the ground, so that one they can get away with. Probably why they chose it. Yeah, King Zugongo gets punched in the face. Sometimes stabbed, but yeah, punch in the face is the general consensus of the characters. And then, I guess for Fant, well, Ganon is kind of like the same for everybody. It's basically smash the crystal on his forehead. But Phantom Ganon, that one seems to vary a little bit. Although, I have to admit, Argarok is pretty, is pretty fun. The weak point smashes on that boss are kind of fun. It's like some characters will go on its back and just like basically fanny whack it. Some characters just completely, you know, stab it through the abdomen or something. It's, it's, it's something really Dragon Slayer esque. So it's satisfying. So I need to be paying attention to what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm just going to keep the key for no reason. Okay, almost no reason. It had two weak points to claw shot? Oh, really? Huh, interesting. I haven't even used Zelda yet. I don't know why I'm waiting so much on that. Man, if the claw shot was so cool in, um... Where was it from? Twilight Princess? Or was it Skyward Sword? I can't remember. I think it was Twilight. But, yeah, the claw shot could have been so cool in this game. It could have been, like, you drag two different enemies towards you, or... Or you use, like, both claw shots to do something crazy. But no, it's just... Oh, we're gonna drag the moon. I guess it would have been funny if some characters did that, but no, every character does it. Poor Medley, he doesn't have a chance. Wow. Back was the actual weak spot, but pulling down the tail made the hook shot interesting. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's the only thing the hook shot really does in this game is you use it to pull down Argrok's tail and Ganon occasionally. Beyond that, you just use it to drag yourself into enemies and then automatically launch an attack you probably don't want to use. There's no pulling enemies towards you, unfortunately. And that's, that's, that's a travesty of its own. Like, I can imagine them getting away with putting in small bats as regular enemies that you actually have to cut down. Or quiche, as I guess they're called. It always drives me nuts, the, the name of those bats. They're the same name as a dessert that I know of. But it's spelled with a Q. It's their name is spelled with a K. Okay. That's enough of that. Why is there a flashing thing over here? Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Claw shot up to Argrok's tail, then put the iron boots on and drag it to the floor to break its arm around the impact. Oh, that sounds so cool. I have never seen that. Wow. I'm guessing that's not something that happens during a speedrun, is it? There are a lot of things in Twilight Princess that kind of are really neat, but they just never get shown again in the series. 
and, and it kind of makes you sad. Like the spinner, or the the the, th the gauntlets, or at least the thing that was attached to it. Hmm. Do you want me to try quiche before it's, it's uh. I said it's kind of a, tr a dessert, but really it's not. It's more like... What's the word for it? I guess cheese pie is kind of like the way I could describe it. It's kind of like a different kind of... Well, it's not a meat pie, but the concept is similar. It's actually quite tasty, depending on the kind you're eating. Or if you happen to have someone that makes their own that is just absolutely scrumptious. Oh my gosh. Looks like this map is trying to pull a fast one on you. Speedruns probably want to avoid the city and sky kind of how it checked. Yeah. That's the problem with a lot of speedruns, is that they have to skip all the good parts. I mean, just look at Ocarina of Time. You pretty much use a glitch to just warp to the end of the game and finish it. <laughs> but the 100% category is pretty interesting for that. That's a category I can get behind. I saw one speed run for um what you call it Skyward Sword, but I don't remember much of it because that was years ago. All right, let's just go cheap. It's actually the fastest form of damage for him. Can we get half? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the thing is, they actually looked like they were about to succeed. Like they really want, they really want to steal that base away from you, and they didn't even look like they were doing much. That's the thing that threw me off. Because I'd find recruiters here and there, and I'd take them out, but then they have recruited forces that were secretly undermining your base and everything. They almost got away with destroying King Daphne as if I didn't go and stop them when I did, so... Yeah. <laughs> They're sneaky. The Liquid Glorious Baton. Wow. I... Didn't think water would be the element that this one gets. I thought it would have gotten, like, darkness or something. Huh. So I think that's actually all the plus-grade weapons on this map. And no, we're keeping that baton. What am I doing? Uh, I guess we'll have to get rid of that. Guess we'll do this one. That one we're saving for later because I'm gonna need, I'm gonna want to have a store of gratitude crystals, and in order to do that, I need to fill up all my fairy slots, and adding more is gonna make that more difficult. So, blow that rock up and go for Fort the Supercharged Enemies. Whoa, there's four different playable characters on that map that I have to fight. Interesting. Looks like we're going to have to abuse some, uh... <laughs> extreme Crush. Let's throw yeah, Ravio in there. May as well finish unsealing that. Hope the water doesn't mess with the Wind Waker moveset too much. I don't think so. 
Because the thing with water is that it mainly just puts water bubbles over the enemy's heads. And it's a primarily, like, wind... It's, it's a weapon that deals with a lot of wind attacks, so putting water in those shouldn't really hurt it. At least in theory. Screw it. I'm not even gonna bother defeating the Captain's Ragatha, because... Look how fast she went down. You don't stand a chance. Ah! She's a different story. Look how much damage they're taking. It's so ridiculous. Oh, crap. That's one attack you don't want to get hit by. Looks like they got me. Uh, let's see how much damage it does. About one sixth of his health. It's one of the few cases where going after magic troops might actually be slower. Oh my god! On second thought, I might need to start thinking about it. I don't know if I can survive another one of those onslaughts. Oh no, and she has no healing. No wonder why the damage sticks. <laughs> I wish Strong One was all powerful, but unfortunately, in this case, it's not. Also, it might be dangerous to switch characters now because since she has no healing, if the AI takes too much damage, I lose. Damn, that, that kind of sucks. I want to use Ravio. Uh, should I risk it? If I park her in the corner, maybe she'll be fine. Let's see. Strong one is so good. For most characters, anyway. Some characters, it's a little bit of a... I find Ravio's moveset kind of funny because you can just keep smacking the targets down to the ground like this. They won't be able to do much about it. Mm. Wow. Was Tetra weak to darkness? What? That did a ton of damage. Oh my goodness. That was a scary amount. Okay, I'll take it. I'm actually glad I didn't go with Glass Cannon there, because that probably would have ruined me. There we go. Alright. So that's... pretty much every... Ooh. There's sculptures here I haven't gotten. This water is darkness now, but yeesh. Yeah, I know. Like, like I, I think there's a weakness taking effect there, but I don't know which one, because I only had one element. If a weak point smash does more than half the health of a <laughs> playable character, something's wrong. Uh, who should I have fun with today? How about King Daphnis? It's nice to have more than one fairy that I can reliably use for different purposes. It's kind of awesome, actually. I'm going to go with you. Level 1 enemy merger, I know. <laughs> this will be quick. <laughs> they won't even get a chance to think about merging, they're just going to die. Horrible deaths, so I may as well just tell Impa to go straight up top. Sick. 
that I just probably spam Extreme Crush. Or maybe I'll use this first. Let's see how much damage this actually does. Oops. Throw some cheese on top of the cheese we're already using? Sounds delicious. And yeah, I guess these two don't stack, so you can use them both to your heart's content. Let's see what happens when I just gather them up. This will be over in a moment, folks. Oh, whoops. I accidentally used glass cannon for no reason. I didn't even realize it switched. I thought I still had more uses of the, uh, you know. Okay. That was a mistake. Let's get some health so I can switch and not worry about him dying. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a mistake. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this instead. <laughs> this special attack is so good. Mm. Oh, I missed one. Yeah, King Daft is in danger. Stop trying to fight things when you have no health. I can't believe I... Okay. I'm gonna have to check and see how many uses of that skill you're given, because it just automatically slid to a different one. Before I knew it, Glass Cannon activated and I lost all my health and almost died instantly. <laughs> I better be very careful about doing that next time. That would have been a hilarious way to lose. Wow, those weapons are not worth talking about. Oops. Is that the one for... two for one sale? I guess we'll find out. Oh, it is. Okay. Guess I'll go ahead and start taking advantage of that. I mean, it's free food. You may as well. I'm going to be spending a ton of time here to get some food later, so this will be a natural occurrence. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the, the way I had my skill set up, I was like, hey, I'm pretty comfortable with this. Then you realize that as you abuse Extreme Crush, it just slides to the next slot over. Ugh. Now I'm not so sure anymore. I'll have to keep checking it to see if it's swapped over or not. Funny enough, this is going to save me rupees, because I usually throw compasses at this guy. I don't know why I didn't take advantage of these song stones earlier, but, yeah. Okay. So that's all done. Yeah, there's no fairies left to take from this map. Jeez. One heart container remains. This map had, like, almost 40 heart containers on it, and somehow I managed to pick them all up. Jeez. It was kind of silly. Then again, I mean, considering how big the map is, I, I guess it's kind of expected. Oh, well. 
Let's get on with that heart container and the sculptulas. So I'm gonna blast through it the first time around. In fact, yeah, let's bring Skull Kid. He's my master KO roundupper guy. The first time around is just gonna be to get the conditions out of the way, and then the second time will be to actually finish the stage. And hopefully we don't abuse Extreme Crush the wrong way again. I don't know if it's better to use the plus version first or the normal version. It's kind of up in the air. I see someone up here that needs to go down. like extreme amounts of chip damage but oh no it's a messenger's mission no wonder why we got a sudden horde of enemies in front of us okay well we better go quick then <laughs> I, whenever it's a messenger mission i always never notice it until i start going well hey nothing's happening and there's two giant blinking blue dots on the map and they're being slaughtered by the enemy. Wow. Oh my gosh. That block damage, though. You can't get that anywhere else. It's better than if they actually get juggled by it. That's the funny part. <laughs> okay. Is that enough for them to go to their destination, or are they still up in tent on fighting? Come on, dude. Go to your base. What are you doing? There. <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking. Now I just gotta get myself closer to a thousand KOs. Which is kinda why I brought Skull Kid, because he's really good at doing that. Well, with a spammable laser and everything. Really? Oh, uh, there's more messengers, really? Okay, I'm just gonna have to park someone in front of the enemy base so I can finish it off quick. Stupid messenger, why would you go away from your objective? What are you doing? I have to capture this keeper, else he's not going nowhere. Another messenger that's not going where it's supposed to go. Guess I gotta go help him. No owl statues again, by the way. They would have really been useful here, but nope. Now's 
gonna go to his destination? Yes. Thank you. Oh wait, unless powerful enemies get in his way. Oh, yeah. Suddenly, I don't think the second time around is gonna be as smooth. many people defending the allied base as possible, so I'd prefer if she didn't flee. Where's the skull shot? Ah, oh, I thought it'd be right here. Damn. Looks like it's gonna be... I'm not sure if it's actually going to be here or not. Maybe here. Sounds like a good bet. There it is. Darn. This stupid dark and has been bothering the heck out of me. Maybe I should go to see the summoner, that would be a good idea. So that's one Sculptula, now we're gonna go for the other one. I really hate how they don't even let you attempt to get both Sculptulas in one go. You have to play the stage twice in order to do it. It's kind of lame. I know they want longevity, but come on, that's just annoying. And I know that you can't get both in one, because I've met the requirements for, like, the second Sculptula, but it would never pop. Until the first one was collected, anyway. May as well just get that out of the way. It's time I'll bring Gravio. I'm gonna unlock some skills while we're at it. And if everything goes to heck, then we'll just use Young Link and completely waste everybody. That's my plan. Ten percent of their stats. It wasn't fifteen, it was ten. Okay. Wow. So if you manage to max out their stats every time, that's like what, twenty-five points? Permanent? I think it's twenty-five. Yeah, because you can max out at two fifty-five. Sculptula. Five enemy keeps? Ooh. Okay. Looks like we got some work to do. Go save the other messenger and make sure he doesn't flee.
May as well start abusing this now. just be non-stop hits since the enemy keeps, you know, getting put down. They can't block when they get put down. So it's definitely something to think about. That messenger at the bottom is slacking like all hell. Why is it not going to its destination? We'll find out. Is it really the Dark Blood Alpha? Are you serious? Yeah, now it's going there. That's so dumb. Oh my god. That should not be a thing where it's like, oh, there's one enemy stopping the messenger from going to its destination. Now I just need to actually capture more forts, that's all. Hopefully that's all. Oh no wait, there's more messengers, I forgot. Ugh. Let's take care of these guys first. among the most aggravating missions. It's like, you know you got somewhere you need to be, but you refuse to go there. Because, oh, I gotta fight this enemy. No, I gotta fight this enemy. No, I gotta fight this enemy. Why not just code them to go straight for their destination at all costs? I think that'd be a great... Weird? Are you kidding me? The messenger stopped again? Wow, these guys really can't stop you know, deviating from their objective. Look at that. That one guy was stopping him from going to his destination. And you know what? I may as well just keep following him because he's probably going to stop again. Ugh. Oh, no, I got to focus this time? Good. Now I just need to capture... I think you have to capture... Like, almost every enemy keep, essentially. Because you start off with a few, but to capture five more on top of that, yeah, that's like every keep. Pretty much. Aside from the end base. So we'll have Skull Kid go there, we'll have Young Link go over here. Save some time when we finish capturing these two keeps. There's a stupid center.
Come on. Should be close to five keeps by now. Whoa, where'd you come from? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You're dead. There's a gold sculpture. Ooh. Now to completely cheese the boss. good thing that the enemies can't use focus spirit or any of the other stuff you can because that'd be pretty scary Yay! to fight a fierce deity link going all out maybe I don't know got the sculptures out of the way. Oops. I can now focus on getting the remaining plus grade weapons I need, which is on Laurel. I checked Turbina and there aren't any plus grade weapons on there, so I don't need to rush into that just yet. Yay. Now, the problem with this map is that I kind of need to figure out how to progress right now because the big thing about Laurel is that there's a bunch of maps that you can't go to because, oh, the enemies are hidden and must be revealed. And the only way to reveal them is to use like an ice rod or a fire rod on these statues. But you have to find your way to a rod first before you can even start doing those. And you need to do those so that you can get to these fissures and then go to different maps. And I'm in the middle of figuring those out right now. So I actually have to find out where I'm going now, because I know that I can go... here? I think I can go here. Actually, wait, I think I might have already unlocked the way forward. Young Link, Focus Spirit Special out of Nowhere is terrifying enough. Yeah, that would be kind of... Ridiculous. Giant moon just shows up out of nowhere right into your camera. Ugh. I'd rather not have that happen. I already forgot who I'm supposed to use. Fi. So, we'll let Fi use that. I'm going to use Ravio again. Oh, Compatriot? That's what I was going for? Oh, I was hoping for something better. Let's take a moment to fix something here. There you go. Oh, it's soft. Okay. Just a 
little, little necessary adjustment I had to make there. All right. Looks like this would have been a good map to bring a light character with. First things first, let's make sure we like this. Whoa! Hello! Keep saboteurs. of enemies, Fai is definitely good at that. Handling them. Jeez. Compatriot works well for... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Compatriot does give you a boost for every key you capture, but the problem is there aren't keys on every single map, unfortunately. So if you happen to be on like a challenge map or a quiz, it won't help you there. But on the plus side, if you do capture every single key, apparently the boost is bigger than what the other skills will provide. At least from what I've heard. So it does have some use. I just wish they adjusted how much damage you get or how much of an increase in damage you get with each of those special skills. Cause they all provide like a similar boost, don't they? There's no reason ever to use adversity because it's the same boost that you get from no healing or defenseless and you don't have to put yourself to critical health to activate it. If adversity provided you an incredulous boost for being low health, I can understand. But no, it's the same as any other skill, so it's kind of worthless. And unless you're running a glass cannon strategy, it's probably not worth your time to even do it anyway. It's like, oh, well, I got hit, but I'm just going to keep going and take damage with me. I mean, they could have easily just made it, oh, you just do like four times the damage. They could have just been like quad damage, and it's like, oh god, this skill's awesome. <laughs> they could have done that. But they didn't. Same thing for one hit kill. Because in the Warrior game, there's usually like an element that kind of instantly kills normal enemies. And in this game, it's not even guaranteed. It's like, oh, you have like a 10 to 20% chance to instantly KO a foe. Or a normal foe. And it didn't have a side effect of having, like, increased damage against officers when it activates. So, yeah. Wasted there. All the special skills are really just boiled down to boost your damage in exchange for something else. Usually something you don't want to bother with. And because of the way that the grading system for adventure map stages worked in the Wii U and Legends versions of the game, you never really had an opportunity to use regen or sturdy feet because you're just making it harder to get an A rank when you have such a little leeway to begin with. So yeah. <laughs> I'm off to getting EX rank, clears and feet, still because I'm going to care. 
Oh, you need every sector captured. Yeah, that, that's one game that I really haven't played or seen much of. Like, apparently the battlefields are just divided up into like little sections. I guess they're kind of like their own mini keeps or something like that. I thought about getting that one, but the price tag was pretty high. And I'm not sure how far I'd actually get in it, because as far as I can tell, that game is a hella grind too. Like, getting to level 100 is apparently no easy feat, from what I know. The, and the highest difficulty is kind of BS. Oh my goodness, this has been happening the whole time? Jeez. Sector to sector. Yeah. Yeah, the whole sector thing plays into the... the mechanics of how you actually dominate on the battlefield. I forget what... They called it or what it was, but like there's these things that happen when you own more sectors. I guess it's kind of like a morale thing. But I'm pretty sure you can actually lose if you if you don't keep control of the battlefield. I think you can. And also, death in that game is kind of interesting because I think... I'm guessing it's based on, like, you know, the series it's based off of, but... You can, like... Do this thing where if you, if you die in the middle of battle, you can use up the seal to come back, or you can, like, come back with a boost or something. Kind of reminds me of, like, Gunstar Heroes. Like, oh, you died, but you know what? You can actually thrash around for another two minutes if you want. You feel kind of out of the loop for not playing Fate Expella? I haven't really, like, tried to do anything with the Fate series, because it's kind of like Kingdom Hearts. It's really confusing to me, at least the story. There's so many different mediums for it, too. It's got series, it's got different games, it's got, like, visual novels, it's got a whole bunch of stuff going for it. <laughs> okay. single keep is just truckloaded with enemies. What is going on with this map? Where's Ravio? Oh. Really weird for a visual novel RPG to have a Musou sequel. I'm gonna have to agree. You can fully revive yourself three times or stay in your spindle three to revive the max health and special gauges. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I can't even do that voice. Hello. <laughs> Kinda weird to be uh, streaming this late at night, huh? <laughs> oh god. I've simultaneously lost my concentration with that greeting. Don't mind me. I'm sort of bad at paying attention to things. How's your uh, morning? Swatch you too. I'm, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, because let's face it, I suck at pronunciation, so if I mess up your name, that's my morning in advance. <laughs> Got a lot of health, 
don't you? For you love time zones. <laughs> oh, you're not a fan of your name? Well, I guess that'll happen. I feel bad for the people that have their names that are surrounded by X's. Cause I feel like those names are just like I don't know. They're trying to say something. XX Chaos Dragon XX. It's like what? Yeah, I, I guess they don't allow name changes, otherwise everyone would keep changing them every day, and then you wouldn't know who did this, and ugh. <laughs> Although, apparently your name can change on YouTube if it's linked to your Google account, and your name on your Google account is different, but I don't know. Maybe it's just a appearance thing, it doesn't really change. I've never really looked into it. Ooh. Actually, I think you need heart power. Unless... No, we already got one. But it's fine. I mean, I, I like names that kind of have a bit of a ring to it. You know, they kind of make you think about how to say it. <laughs> They're more meaningful, in a way. I wish I could say the same about my name, but, yeah, I've kind of just stuck with it. I really don't. I really don't know what the basis for my name was supposed to be. I just came up with it, not really thinking about why. Wow! I actually get to use Link for once. This is amazing. Yeah, I already went ahead and got Evil's Vein unlocked, but I still need the other one. Otherwise, I'll never get to use Legendary. So. What a pain in the butt that skill is. Whatever. It's been a while. Let's use the Master Sword for once. <laughs> I see what you did there, Super Luigi. And yes, most people don't say it right. Heck, sometimes I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But I'm okay with that, because, let's face it, when it comes to English, there's just so many things going on with the pronunciation, it's just kind of ridiculous. Not to mention that it keeps getting added to every year. I mean, <laughs> can you really blame people for making mistakes here and there? Yeah, it's nice to actually get a chance to use the Master Sword again. I've been avoiding it for so long because I was stuck at 300, and it's like, well, I've got weapons way stronger than this, so I may as well use them. But the brokenness still cannot be mashed. second charge attack and just make quick work of everything. No! I hate when I do that. I'm gonna make these guys squirm. So that's one use. Come on, how'd you hit me? 
Oh wait, I accidentally used glass cannon. Oh no. Wait a second. So extreme crush plus is only one use? Is that what's happening? I think I may have discovered something. I used the plus version and now it's gone. Hmm. Whoa. You dodged it? Are you kidding? Nope, it's gone now. So wait a second, how was I able to use it three or more times, but now I can't use it more than twice? Something is very screwy. At least I'm doing ridiculous amounts of damage, but still. Looks like we're gonna have to rethink our extreme crush options because for whatever reason I could only use it twice whereas before I could use it multiple times. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Could it be that if you have the same element as the fairy you get more uses? No, that, that, that seems really weird. That seems incredibly weird. Looks like Yurim's got a lot of work cut out for him. this map I'm almost considering grinding KOs on it this is so ridiculous Almost 1,000 KOs later. Also, those seed attacks are not annoying in the slightest. Gurren's uh, little targeting thing is that you can like basically launch enemies right towards you yourself or you can like hit them from far away. It's really cool. Like I think I can experiment with the commander here. Good lord, that was so dumb. I haven't even gone after the treasures yet. There's just so many enemies. And I think they were all trying to head towards your base. So 
So imagine if I'd let that gone unchecked right into your base. Ooh, yeah. not a pretty sight, I gotta say. Hmm. I can't remember if there was any goodies that I need to pick up here. I'll weaken the boss first before I start trying to collect them. Oh, come on. Oh, it's you guys. Yeah. I guess he's all over us now. What? Fed is strong too over and over, yeah. Or how about this? You could just do long range. Boof! <laughs> you could just long range pull them towards you. It's so hilarious. It's the best way to move somebody out of their keep. <laughs> Actually, no, this is a good idea because I could just like go towards the keep and just drag him in there. Against his will. Just do strong, yeah. You could do strong two over and over again. I think I, I, I must have thought you were talking about this strong three because you could just do that over and over too. It's kind of fun. And the further away from the target you are, the faster they go flying. It's so funny. Oh, your attack's been cancelled. Now, I'm gonna see if I can actually... ...keep him there. Yep, the AI is engaging in that base, so they're not actually running back towards the enemy base, which is good. Uh, now I can check. I, I can try to check, I guess. Uh, where is it? Hmm. I guess it wouldn't hurt to go after that last treasure. I've never gotten in a situation where I pulled the enemy commander out of their base, and now they're fighting in one of ours. What? Stupid manhandler. I know you can just use the boomerang, but I'm still gonna cut it down. Treasure chest really all that worthless? Oh, I was gonna try and use strong two from really far away. Whoops. I wanted to see him go full done. I think we're going to move on to get an Ice Rod item card. I'm pretty sure you use the Ice Rod for the Fire Statues and the Fire Rod for the Ice Statues. I think that's how it goes. And there's a weapon here, so I definitely want that. Hmm. Level 4 
fairy weapon. Hmm. I hope Link's not by himself, because it's gonna be pretty rough if he is. Let's see. Oh boy, he's by himself. Okay. <laughs> We've got a hard one on our heads. Let's consider... Hmm. Guardbreaker. Because I think that's going to be a big problem if I don't do something about it. But man, I don't think I've picked up any decent fairy weapons since... ever. Let's switch gears to this. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I haven't used the Great Fairy weapon in, like, a long time. Many, several hours ago. Oh no, is the morale about to drop? Please don't. Lacks leadership. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to get this to work for me. Treason broke out. That level up. I couldn't get that weak point smash. Come on. I don't think this is going to go over very well if I don't <laughs> think about what I'm doing. Well, for one, I probably shouldn't be going after Ganondorf because he's not a target. But he is recruiting, which is kind of a bad thing. <laughs> so I'll need to stop him. Later, though. Maybe after he's taken a sufficient amount of damage? Maybe? Gosh, everything's taking not a lot of damage from the Great Fairy. Yeah, I I'm, I'm suddenly have my hopes dashed by what this map entails. Like, I don't know if... <laughs> how much people have used the Great Fairy, but this thing is very unwieldy, unfortunately. Like, if you don't have special attacks to spam, then there's just really not a lot going for it. Especially if you're using a not-so-strong version of it. I managed to get a weak point smash. How'd that happen? It's probably a bad idea. He's in the wall! Oh. Never mind, that actually worked pretty well. So you have to corner your targets or else you're not gonna get a lot of hits. Oh my gosh. I don't know about this one. How did I not hit him with an actual part of that attack? What? Oh my goodness. 
If this is how long it takes to beat a playable enemy character, just imagine how long it's going to take to beat the commander. And I missed. Or not. Jeez. Let's consider boomerang strats, because I don't have a lot going for me right now. Better make full use of this. I don't even know if you can dodge cancel with the Great Fairy. I've never tried it. I don't think you can. Nope. This is just normal speed firing of the arrows. Well, it's something, I guess. Fast the Great Fairy can take heat. Vias can do it in one. Oh. Yeah, if you have the great positioning, I can definitely see that happening. But because the weapon I'm using isn't as strong as it could be, this definitely is gonna get rough. I mean I'm doing good so far, but I'm a little worried about how much damage I'm actually gonna be able to do the commander. Or commanders, I should say. Because there's two of them. The one-on-one -on -one potential with the Great Fairy is probably not the greatest. Oh, the Allied Dace is in danger of falling. That's a good, I good sign. I'm going to have to go take care of that before I do anything. And I think that's going to be the big problem about this map, is that I'm going to keep getting reinforcements attacking my base 24-7. It's all these recruited enemies. We're basically fighting our own forces. <laughs> Play it safe and do this. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually use a fairy burst here. That should clear out everything in the base right away. Go hit this. Oh my gosh, there's more! Still better than Zelda's Baton stage on the bottom left of the adventure map? Hmm. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure that the mission for that stage was very similar to this. You're being attacked on both sides. You defeat one of the captains and then you start spawning reinforcements. And to get the better weapon, you have to use the best of your lower weapon sets. But that stage was really rough because... Oh man, you really were dealing with a crappy hand. Oh man, Agatha's got a lot of health too. Part of me is kind of wishing I actually brought glass cannon, but that's probably a bad idea, too. Uh, 
Wow, that actually hit twice. I'm surprised. Considering how much time I have left, I don't like my chances, actually. I think only well-placed Le 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 Leviases are going to be my saving grace here. This is going to get really bad really quick. Just gotta position myself properly. Double damage weak point smash? Sort of. Let's see if this is a good position. Whoa! Okay, sure. Take me right out of it. No. It's not working. <laughs> Ravio's in trouble. The base is about to fall again. Oh my gosh. I think this map is playing some secret magic tricks to just steal victory away from you. Well, time for another magic blast then. Oh, this time it's Ganondorf that's doing it. Oh, good. I secretly hope that doing that would also heal your base, but I don't think it does. Jeez. Holy crap, how'd it go flying all the way over there? I don't have time to deal with Ganondorf. I gotta go and beat these commanders. If I don't, then I'm just wasting more time. Because they're gonna keep spawning reinforcements until they're finally defeated. <sighs> oh great, man, it's Volga for the second commander, which means this is gonna take an eon. You know, technically, Volga's weak to water, so actually, this is probably better. Yeah, look at the damage. I can make this work to my advantage, if I do it right. Miss. Come on, double damage, double damage. Please hit. Mm, okay, good. Now all I have to do is beat up Agatha and we're good. Wow. <laughs> I think I still have a chance at this. I've got two and a half minutes. An item thief, really. Oh, I did it too soon. Oh, well. Just in time for more reinforcements to show up. Nice.
gosh, she's still got health. Wow, it's finally over. Oh my goodness. That was kind of silly. <laughs> Holy crap. I think it's important that we make sure we get the weapon first, then we worry about the heart items and everything later. Because damn, that was yikes. I don't think it matters how high of a level you are. If you don't have a plan, you're done. There's no point. Yeah, I had less than a, like I had a minute and something left. The Great Fairy of Tempest, so that's lightning, isn't it? Yep. Wow, the weapons on that stage actually would have been really good if I'd used a potion. Actually, it's kind of better than what I already have. Let's have to get rid of something else. Okay, then we'll get rid of this. about those later. Jeez, all those materials. I had over 3,000 KOs and I wasn't even trying to get that high. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I finally got an ice rod. Now I just gotta figure out how to get a fire rod and then we're golden. <coughs> oh wait, I'm pretty sure I can use one here, can't I? Yeah, flame statues. There you go. <laughs> They're all those forces. Lightning will help the great fairy a lot. I, I think so too, honestly. Because you already get the lightning effect when you're using charge six. So if you can increase that in some way, it might actually cause a potential to juggle? I don't know. Wait, what am I doing here again? Oh, it's a free map, okay. Why don't we give Sia a try? Lightning's the way to go sometimes when you're just looking for a chance to do a lot of aerial shenanigans. Yep. to put her mask back on. Man, she is still as broken as ever, I see. Unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with a lot of screaming because it's one of those maps where the high alien captain is fleeing. One flees and then a whole bunch of others follow. And every time it happens, they have to make sure you hear it. So it's even more annoying. Oh, 
just gonna have to activate these statues because who knows? Oh, Siege Captain's great. Who knows what event will pop up next, as I say it. Thank you for activating. It seems like most of the arrow foes are the culprits here. And Skull Kid, apparently. Should just go all out on most maps and then try to get the chaos of the end. <laughs> that they're trying to stop you from trying to combo them or hit them consecutively. And if I were to launch them when that was happening, they would have probably met the nearest wall instantly. But I don't have good launchers with Sia. Oh, jeez. So Medley's showing up on a lot of these maps, but I don't think she's doing too much. Maybe I should just cut down the enemy. Oh wait, Toon Link, never mind, I should cut him down. When you're holding someone's weakness, there's no reason to not take him out. Finished him off, but <laughs> was it worth it? I'll always go after the item transporter because it's basically a free weapon or two. Okay. I don't have enough chaos to get an A rank, but I'll probably want to size up the boss first before I go after more chaos. That actually reached. Okay. 
Well, considering how much health Ravio's got, maybe my KOs will show up while staying in here. So many rupees, oh my goodness. I barely realized that I hit like 17,000 without even really trying. Oh right, because the thing is affecting the whole board right now. I didn't, wasn't even paying attention to that. Oh god, where'd you come from? combo as much as possible because it increases your damage, but I don't know. Ah, arrows. This will put a quick end to this. But yeah, we got it. I should have used... I don't know what I was thinking. I should have used Elemental Magician. That would have made that ten times faster. Now that I think about it. I wasn't thinking very straight. I was just like, I got a combo. Got a combo. I have tools that I could be using to make things easier, and I'm not using them. Hmm. I think I'll go a little bit further. Is there a fissure in here? Oh, yes, there is. Oh, man. Imprisoned, Ardrock, and Goma. Level 10. This might be a bit difficult. Well. Oh, and they only let you use two characters. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna put our fairy to good use here, and then we'll combine it with who's a good... Oh, yeah, Zelda. She's one of our three main boss killers, so we always need to bring someone along. Uh... Yeah. Not sure what affects the Ravio meter. Um, the effects are pretty much what you see. Like, certain item cards will invoke certain effects. In fact, we can actually have a quick look at them if I can find it. The Ravio board is what it's called. I wish they categorized these. Nice power, yeah. Um, have up to two types, and yeah, these tell you which which effect goes on there. So, tornado for some reason adds darkness, which is kind of funny. Sand rod adds fire. The fire rod is fire. Ice rod's water. The baby mommy, my, ugh. how do you say those things? Mayamize? Whatever. They add water. Boomerang's lightning. Power glove is lightning. Bow is light. Hookshot adds light. The bombs will increase rupees and the hammer increases attack power. So that's kind of how they work, or at least what effects get added. And you can have up to two at once. And if you decide to use another nice power when there's already two, they both get overwritten by the new one you add. So, yeah. That's that's basically how nice powers work for Noru. You just pick the ones you want once you're done using all the item cards you need to. Oh, I did get the pronunciation right. Wow, I am surprised. 
Because when I was playing Link Between Worlds, I'm like, how do you say this word? My eyes? I kept thinking of mommy eyes or something like that. I was like, no, that sounds horrible. What the hell is that? <laughs> just didn't know what. So wait a second, we're supposed to be defeating bosses, but there's bomb chews? What is this? Oh, I see. I see now. Isn't Zelda nearby? Darn it, she wasn't close enough. Time to wipe out that weak point in one fell swoop. Almost one fell swoop. the positioning that you want, because you see how much more damage you did compared to the other times. And the weak point smash doesn't even compare. It's crazy. Actually, you know what? Don't I have extreme crush? Why don't I just use that? Dang it. There we go. So I used Extreme Crush once, and if I check, yep, it's gone. I still have plus, but that's apparently one use as well. I don't know what's going on with that skill. I know I was able to use it multiple times before, but now I can't. Makes almost no sense. Demolitions expert. Maybe I should go get the imprisoned one. I want to do as much damage to that as possible. Because that thing's a pain in the arse to beat. The other bosses I can do without help. Yeah. Now I remember, yeah. These bomb chews are for the sake of actually damaging the bosses. If the Demolitions Expert is there, then it does even more damage. And by more damage, I mean it pretty much tears off 80% of its health. So you actually want the bomb chews to live. Especially for the Imprison, this thing has so much damn health. And I don't think the Stream Crush will work on it because you're not close enough to where you have to hit it. So that bomb she's gonna go. Kinda want that demolitions expert to survive. Hopefully I get to him in time. Really are more trouble than you're worth. I don't know about that. Maybe a short burst of magic will make this a easier. Wait, how did a weak point gauge spawn that quickly? What? I didn't even touch those guys. Wow. Wiped out. I guess we'll use this on the boss. Me as well. Oh, and you also have to watch out because they spawn these units that heal the bosses after you deal damage to them. And you don't want that. You don't want that. Like, for example, the one that's about to heal the imprison. Good enough. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There is it! Quit trying to erase my progress, you jerk. Okay. Wow, that blob tree just barely survived. Wait for it to do its damage. And now we finish it off. There we go. 
Now I just have to do the same thing in prison. I don't know the best weak point combo for the Trident. It's kind of something I haven't actually experienced in this. But at least having one special attack seems to work well, so I guess that's a start. <laughs> Shocks the imprisoned. That's funny. That could have gone worse, but I'll take it. Get in there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to reach that Fisher. My tiredness is already starting to kick in, so I think maybe one or two more maps and then we'll be good. They should have put Darkness on his trident. I, uh, fire seems like an interesting but not very optimal choice, oh well. next. We want to see what's next. Defeat the Bird of the Lake. Defeat the Warriors of Twilight. And a Skulltula. Light character is definitely recommended here, so we'll do this. Um, actually, I could get away with Tetra. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Hmm. I will look into Extreme Trush, though, because I think there's more to it than just using it in a bunch of group of enemies. Maybe I only could use it twice? I don't know. I remember reading somewhere that some skills could be used more than once. Suffer for that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like that was necessary, but whatever. What the? Tetra's a good water character. She is. A lot of people wrote her off at first because they, well, first of all, they didn't have her good moves unlocked. But no, she actually is a good water character. And, well, in my case, light as well. Not, not only that, but she actually does have combos that link into each other. You could use her special attack to like extend damage and everything. It's pretty nice. And dodge canceling kind of makes it better. I mean, her AOE may seem pretty weak, but honestly, it's pretty good. 
provided you position it properly. Wow, you're sure showing off. <laughs> I am, aren't I? Slow it down a bit, and now go for it. That poor Aerophos, he thought his special would save him. The nice thing, another nice thing about Tetra is that, like, her, most of her resources are pretty fast, so you're never really facing too much downtime, whether it's a special attack or a weak point smash or what have you. So she's one of the characters that really goes well with, like, finishing blow plus and special attack plus and all that stuff. I did start working on an optimal weapon for her, but I haven't been able to finish it because the skills I want aren't showing up. Let's see if I can save this guy. There we go. Ouch. Skeletal appeared. Actually, this one, I'm not sure where it is. I hope it's not somewhere obscure. Oh, it's right on the wall. I'm still miffed that nothing makes it move aside from a weak attack. It doesn't matter what you use. If it's not the first weak attack, it doesn't work. I don't know why. It's kind of fun where you could like shoot sculptures with arrows and bombs and stuff, but no, you can't do that in this game for some reason. I don't know why, but you can't. Go the strong way. Oh dear. <laughs> didn't even see the weak one gauge, it just went straight into the smash. I was a little worried about KOs at first, but that little burst just now kind of put me right back on track. Oh man, Twilight Mid is gonna be dead so fast. Doesn't matter if she blocks or not, so much damage. Oh my goodness. I could just spam this if I wanted. It's unblockable. But I'll keep trying to block it. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, let's not over- oh crap. I forgot, I might not have enough KOs. And I finished the map, oops. Got a little too, uh, got a little too ahead of myself there, whoops. And then I dropped my controller for no reason. What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh right, I'm super tired, that's why. <laughs> I don't know why, but the volume of the music there was really low. Hmm. Yep, of course. Uh, the one time I don't get 1600 KOs and it's a B. I think I can go for one more. Thankfully, it's not one more syndrome. It's just one actual more stage. Enemy merger? Yeah, that's that. That's not. That's not bad. These don't take forever. So, throw Ravio at it one more time, and we're also going to use. 
How about we use Ant? We almost never use Ant. He'll bring the crush. Okay. There's four targets. Ooh, okay. Someone might actually get a chance to transform before this is all over. I guess we'll find out. Boomerang. I'm hoping for arrows. There we go. We're going to spam these arrows hardcore. If they don't dodge them anyway. Seems really cheap, but it's effective. Have you 520 million rubies for you? I wish. I don't know why they, like, they limited the amount of rupees you can hold in this game to 1 minus 10 million for some reason. Because that was totally necessary, right? Oh, we're going to make it so that if you need more rupees, you can't have them. you got to spend them first. I don't wonder who decided on the currency to be rupees in the first place. Because, I mean, Ru well, Ru I know rupees do exist. Are rupees actually used as a currency somewhere? I think they are, but I'm not sure. It's one of those questions you never really think about. I mean, in the first place, you really wouldn't be thinking too much of, you know, using gems as currency in most situations. Let alone millions of them. It's probably different in the Dark Ages, though. I can only imagine what it was like back then. question though. Maybe something we'll research in the war at some point. It's like, what made them decide on rupees as opposed to just some other form of gold? Man, big ones are really a pain in the neck to deal with, aren't they? I can't even combo this guy. I don't even know how someone can make that voice without hurting their throat. Honestly, if an enemy blocks that attack, it does more damage than if they get hit by it. And I'm hoping that I can try that out. Thanks, camera. <laughs> You're being very helpful today. Oh, I almost had 
out of it. Can't really say that was worth it, but yeah. This guy got to merge. Now he's just gonna be a giant punching bag for the next two minutes. I, you're not going nowhere, buddy. Look at how big it is. that the darkness just can't keep up. Here we go. Can just stop with the body clock already? He just doesn't learn his lesson. I'm gonna try and knock him out. Probably the coolest looking focus spirit special. Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> the, the shield moblin is. Yeah, they're actually pretty big in that game, aren't they? These guys are kind of. I don't know, half size compared to them? <laughs> The only other enemies that really have bigger, like, models are those Dinophos and Lizalfos chieftains, the one that show up in Sia's story. Aside from these merge missions, those are the only other, like, different sized units. Oh, no, and then that one rewards map, the one that the Majora's Mask uh, map unlocks, those guys are humongous because they're supposed to represent the four giants in that game. They have high morale, but they still die very easily because they're just bokoblins. <laughs> Giant bokoblins. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Jeez, how many more legendaries do you need, Skull Kid? What is this map? Oh, it's a quiz. I, I should be stopping, but I keep getting short maps that make me want to keep going. And also, I forgot who I was supposed to use again. There we go, Tetra. The whole tactic was to sprint into their shield and vault over them. Oh, really? Huh. Well, I guess that tactic goes down the gutter with the way this game handles it. Because I, I know in Skyward Sword you could, like, use a shield bash, and there's a lot of movement-based attacks, as far as I can tell. So as much as people seem to hate on that game, it actually does some interesting things. Loyal to the Demon King. It's definitely not Wizard, that's for sure. Poor guy's not loyal to anything. Stop that. Oh, right. I'm using defenseless. I keep forgetting. Well, that's why I took so much damage, because I thought I could block these when I'm not actually supposed to be able to. Oops. My bad. I really expect those when there aren't small bridges from the occupy the entire width of. <laughs> They're big wooden or in some cases, metal shields don't really make much sense when we can just go around them. Oh, shopkeeper? Oh my god! I'm gonna get this straight if I don't watch it.
Okay, looks like I'm safe for now. <laughs> They're worth a decent amount of experience. <laughs> I do want to try and take advantage of the lightning this boomerang provides, but it's really hard. The one obsessed with beauty. See, right there, I actually got lightning to activate it, but... As you can see. Gosh dang it, I keep clashing. Okay, Volga can take a break for a moment. I'm gonna have to reconsider putting Defenseless on Tetra because blocking is actually kind of important for her. Damage on that map is really high, so it probably means the weapons are also really gonna be good. Maybe. Okay, we'll see. Mm. Okay, I think uh, I think that's all I've got for uh, today. <laughs> Made some decent progress. I got a skill that I wanted on that fairy after reconsidering my options, and things are looking pretty good. Let's get through all this first. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can put a couple more refreshes on that fairy, because I'm gonna try taking all of its traits and then, uh, like, I'm gonna trade out all of its traits for ones that hasn't leveled up yet. As dumb as that sounds. As dumb as that sounds. So the first thing that I did was I took out Valiant, so now I have to take out something else that's really high, like... Probably Friendly. Yeah. It's got a tiny amount of eager, no shrewd, no aspiring, none of those. Whoops. Did I? Ugh. I keep screwing this up. The, the way they did these menus are kind of weird. You don't think much for a three hour stream until it begins at midnight. I know, right? It doesn't seem like. A, I, I don't know. It feels like I've been streaming for a long time, but maybe I haven't really. It just kind of strikes you like a giant cannon. Two. Two. Let's see, what else can we raise? This doesn't seem bad at the cost of Dizzy, which is actually not good. I want to raise the stats that aren't high right now, that's the problem. Like this one, for example. I could go plus 182, but that's a huge waste. It's the only one stat that's getting adjusted. Plus two. This one's... Oh, wait, that's silver. Yeah, the path that I'm going is not going to be very friendly until I find um, alternatives. Maybe I should just do a quick refresh. I might just do that. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> Whoa! I was mashing so fast, I didn't realize you got gifts from your fairies. You don't like things that aren't yummy. Oh, that's sad. 
<laughs> I'm just brute forcing the poor fairies. Ugh. Lots of things that take away and don't actually give. That's not good. Okay. So now we're going to take out another trait. Probably Smiley. I'm going to regret this, but if I do this right, it's going to end up being better in the long run. Uh, aspiring, right? Then I have to take out Sparkly and Resolute eventually. But yeah, this is pretty much the process of refreshing your fairies, is that you have to give them normal food, not gratitude crystals, every single refresh, otherwise you're just wasting so much time. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to probably hit up, like, Grand Travels for a couple hours, so that I get enough food to actually make this very productive. But, I don't know. I think it's going to take a lot more than what I currently got to make this work better. Although, I guess I could be a little smarter about it. Wow, this one doesn't raise any traits now. Yeah, some of the bronze food has no effect on this fairy now. That's really sad. Two. One. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. I'll just go for the quick refresh, I guess. We won't know if it's all that good or bad until we actually take all the traits out. Oops. Messed that up. Okay, so we want to take out Resolute and we want to replace it with... Shrewd, I guess. Okay. This might actually work a lot better. skills he can actually gain oops oh well well whatever I, I think that's the end I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna pull myself in midday sleeping because I just didn't know when to stop playing a damn video game <laughs> uh, don't know when I'm next gonna get to stream it's probably gonna be a while free time is not plentiful to begin with so you know Oh well. Um, well, thanks for stopping by, guys. Had a little fun, hopefully. Uh, catch you next time. Have yourselves a good night or morning or what have you, and try not to stay up too late. And don't take my example for word, because I am going to regret this for sure. <laughs> you take it easy, guys.